<laughs> inside the U, the ultimate Dole Hockey Podcast. We have uh, Larry Legend yeah. and ADHD Jerry. It's gonna be um, <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting pod. I'm just gonna warn everybody right now. He goes up and down. It's yeah, man. It's um, it's been a long week. Oh long really? Week. You've been in rare form, dude. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. So we'll see how it goes. I already punched the table twice, and um, <laughs> we'll see how long my attention will. Uh, we gotta hang we'll those keep. posters up, dude. We do have to hang those posters. Yeah. Thank you to Dicky. I don't even know who this is. Hollis Thomas. Yeah, him. Little, Hollis, uh, he's a bird. Apparently. Bird gang tequila. Thanks to Hollis Thomas and Bird Gang Tequila. Yeah. Got a bottle, little bottle. Yeah, up there. bottles up there. It's cool. Bird Gang. Bird Gang. Psych. Who yeah, day? They suck. When you tequila? Bengals are destroying the Eagles this uh, weekend. When are they playing? By thirty, I think. By thirty. By thirty. Please. I don't know. I, apparently, the Eagles have never beaten them in Cincinnati. So. Nah. And, it, and haven't beaten them in Philly in quite a while too. Slim Shady ain't doing nothing. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> oh, Slim Shady, I get it. Yeah. Ha ha! All right, welcome to Inside the U, the Ultimate Dota Hockey Podcast. Each <laughs> week, we're bringing insider topics, special guests, and slight, slight entertainment from the world of adult hockey, along with discussions and updates around the Ultimate Adult Hockey League. Mm. I'm Larry, joined as usual by UHL Commissioner Steve Ains and Jerry the Greek, and we are back checking in on our Week Five results, U Survivor picks, yeah, and uh, costume voting. Yes, I'm very excited about this one. <laughs> plus, much, plus much more before we do all that. I'd like to ask if you guys can continue to contribute to Inside the U when you see fit. We use this weekly show to directly grow the league in a few ways. So if you were slightly entertained or you learned something about the league or the world of adult hockey in general, don't forget to subscribe here with at UHL hockey dot or at UHL hockey on YouTube. Drop comments, give us feedback and share the show if you can. All the reels. All the content, all the weird stuff Jerry does. Yeah. Show it to your friends. Show it to your family. Maybe they want to see more of Jerry doing weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. It gets weirder as it goes. Yeah, but, you're a big hit, dude. You're like a celebrity. Oh, my God. I'm so famous. My, like my grandma crazy. loves you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Even after the golf outing? Hey, grandma. <laughs> Hi, grandma. Grand. She thinks she was, on, she was on your side for that, dude. Yeah. Yeah. They love the reels. You're always featured in the reels. That's, that's the thing. Because yeah. you're always doing weird shit. We got to grab it. Yeah. Well... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Week five, right? Week five just passed. We're recapping it. Mm-hmm. Uh, week five, this little recap here is brought to you by Island Wooder. 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 You got to <laughs> say it right. I, I did. That's how I say it. I say Wooder. Island Wooder. Wooder. I'm right. going to open this. I need this. Yeah, let's crack it open. Ooh, blood orange. Uh, friends oh, of the league funny. here. Friends of Moonshine Hockey Club. Uh, shout out to Animato connecting us with him. Uh, these guys are based out of New Jersey. Made uh, in this, what is it? A, uh, I guess a non-carbonated. Not carbonated. Um, so it's made with coconut water, vodka, and fruit juice. Check them out at allenwooder.com and at allenwooder on Instagram. I'll let them know we sent you. I guess uh, I was trying to Smooth. I was trying to categorize this drink, but I don't know how to categorize Smooth. it. It's like it's, a hard it's juice. A, it's, yeah, it's, it's a hard juice. Hard juice. Hard juice. Yeah, I'm going to crack not, it up. It's not like a seltzer, right? I got hard juices for you. Okay. Right so here. It's been a long week mm, for me, too. This is probably a good um, beach. A beach. Yes, that's exactly oh, yeah? what it is. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Throw it on ice or no? No ice. Oh, yeah. It's put cold. it put it yeah, in the, in the cooler. Right no artificial sweeteners. Mm. The water on the cooler. I like the name. Island Water. Yeah. Let's like know where they're from. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's it's very good. 4.5% alcohol, so not too strong. You can have a couple of them and still function. It's good. Maybe. It's clean. Mm. Love clean. it. At Island Water on it's Instagram. Very smooth. Yeah, it's good. Shout out to them. All right. Uh, what what, what else? Week five. What's going on? I don't it's know. It's a man. long week. It's been a long week. Yeah. With the you personally, just just everything. <laughs> With the you personally, I don't know. just a little bit of everything. You going tried out scorekeeping last night. I did. Ah, it nice. was listen. It was a lot of fun, but I give them credit. It is difficult. So you know, you had I a mean, late, you had a late one too. Listen, yeah, it was a late one. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, but you have to like you do a lot. It's not just like start yeah. stop. There's a lot to it. So yeah, um, shots, goals, penalties. Yeah. The iPad. Yeah. Yeah. And then they come tell you, and then you got to try to listen while everybody's <laughs> yelling at you. Then you got to do that. And they drop the <laughs> puck quick. So there was floundered. Wait until you have like 20 penalties that you got to fucking figure yeah. out. Yeah. We had, we, <laughs> it was good though. We had a few um, last night, but it was, oh, we had one uh, two minute advantage uh, for dad bots. But yeah. it was, it was, it was interesting. It was, a, I liked it. 
We got all the guys okay. checked in. Got all the scores yeah, accurate. Ch- guys checking. Guys, please check in. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> is making sure that everybody was accounted for. Hey, yeah, so that's veterans how you got to give them credit, dude. Yeah, because well, the veterans, veterans do, do yeah. it like right there. They're just yeah. looking around. Yeah, exactly. That's how you got to give them credit. They're Correct. doing that shit. You don't even think about it. You're warming up, getting ready for the game, and the yeah. scorekeepers are. Checking yeah. them in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I really had to. There was a few times where I st- my mind started wandering, but then I'm like, shit, I got I to focus in. Oh, shocker. I got to focus in. You're going to bring a cold brew at 11 o'clock at night? <laughs> no, I had a tea. I had a warm tea. There you go. Yeah. See, I'm telling tea you. Tea with a little honey. Warm it was tea, good. Yeah. But it, okay, bring your, uh, I have, your I have, bunny slippers. Uh, no, I had these. <laughs> hey, dude. Uh, I, I have a newfound respect for what they do because oh, yeah. there's a lot going on and to stay on top of it. At one point, somebody from the bench was like, it's seven to one. I'm like, shit, you're right. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, yes. Of course you did. So I swear you, but funny. you got to find your niche. So like once they scored, that was the first thing I did. I just did it on the board and then handled everything else. What I was doing was waiting for them to come over, fill it in and then do it. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just do it on the board first. It's seven to one. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, go right away. I want to yell at you. Yeah, go right away. Shot and goal. Yes, exactly. So you have to do shot and goal and then wait for the ref to come over. Then you fill it all in. Then you got to add that into that. Like, it's, yeah, it's a lot. And then by that time, and then you got to hit the stop too. Because once you score, stop the timer. Then you do goal. I get it. Then you do shot. Then you come over. Then you got to fill it in. (laughs) Takes a village to run the U, dude. And then once you do that, (laughs) guess what? Puck's dropped already, so you better start it up again. Hey, you're learning Ooh, hockey in and out, baby. Let's go. You're a hockey fan. But they were both out. I I they were both really cool with me. Um the refs, yeah, the, the teams, everybody was Everyone cool. So. You out. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So it was cool. good. Nice. Um yeah, so it was fun. All right, we'll check out the results from that game uh, a little later on. You yep. uh real quick, uh last week I think I mentioned um we are gonna be, you know, looking the <laughs> What's that, dude? <laughs> I do. I did that out. Words. They're just noises out of nowhere. <laughs> that was my yup. Yeah. 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 Last week I mentioned we're going right. to be doing um new content. Uh, we got a new little studio in the works. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be we'll be doing a couple episodes a week. And I mentioned uh, discussing maybe some new topics or things like that that y'all might be interested in hearing. Uh, if you go to YouTube community, our YouTube community, you can vote now on um, a couple different topics that I thought maybe might be interesting. Maybe not. Um, NHL headlines, Flyers and Philly sports, uh, behind the scenes with the U crew, mm. behind the scenes mm. gets weird. And the U, you think with, this with, the, weird U, with the U crew and the UHQ. Yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, just mailbag with, uh, with a special guests and stuff like that. Maybe you're interested in one of those topics. Maybe not. Um, you can go, you can go to, uh, the communities have the vote. Uh, you can also email us info, info, uhhockey.com for suggestions, appearances, questions, uh, feedback, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. We're here. We're an open book. You guys are all commenting too, which uh, we appreciate that as well. So, anyway, with that being said, let's, let's get into uh, you, Survivor. Ooh, my favorite part. <clears throat> Why? Because Steve is losing as usual. But hit the buzzer or whatever it's called. The music. Hit the damn oh, buzzer. Does this just get you pumped? It's time to have the eye of the beaver, to have the <laughs> thrill of the bite, because it's been a clock, and we're playing to see who. Will be the last known Survivor of 2024 season. You crew <laughs> Survivor Pool Challenge. All right, so let's um, let's go over our picks from last week. Mm, that's uh, real worthy. Yeah, the timing was incredible. Yeah, there. that was pretty that good. Was sick. <laughs> um, so uh, I picked last night's game. Ironically, mm. that I was uh, you know scorekeeping for James is the auto <laughs> versus the dad bods. <laughs> Wait, a boom! Minute. Got the win. Let's go, James C.C. Auto. Thank you for coming through. Uh, they had a full bench. Dad bods needed some help. They were, they were uh, I think, like five or six. And yeah. Then, yeah. So, um, but honestly, they kept up with shots on net. It wasn't that, you know, bad, but James C.C. Auto got, um, you know, 11 to 1. So it was a good win for me. <laughs> Larry <laughs> picked 24 7. Solid <laughs> over <laughs> uh, Rain City Gold. Bang, bang. Bang, bang with the win. Yep. Another green. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You guys pick such, like, soft, like, easy ones. Dude, you're never going to get a strike. You're never going to get a strike, dude. You're going to go no zero. zero. Uh, You can't pick the same team twice, so eventually you're going to run into a hard pick. Yeah, and isn't that the point? And as we go, so I'm going to throw in a new rule because, yeah, we obviously need a winner. So once we get to, like, week nine, maybe eight, we're going to have to pick. (laughs) We're going to have to pick two teams. Ooh. So then we're going to have to go two for two. And if you get one out of two wrong, that's still a strike against you. So, yeah. You thought oh, yeah. about this? Yeah, I did. 
Um, because I was I was thinking it's like all right, we Jerry Coken. Yeah, we're me and Larry are still undefeated because we're awesome. And if we get to week ten, it's like what are we gonna do? Yeah, right. So starting week eight, we're gonna start picking two teams. So um, if you get sorry, both, if you get both wrong, that doesn't count two strikes. Each week is still a strike, but you have to get both right to to be clear. Um, all right, and uh, Steve, you picked the Hawks against your your friends, the Blue Chew Bulldogs. Was it a hard game? No, <laughs> get it. it wasn't a hard game, but it was not a hard game. Well, uh, you got the way you picked Hawks. Nice. Yeah. So we got three for three. Yeah. I picked my team twice. Did, uh, wow. Such a hard part. Such a hard dude. pick, dude. Fine. Wow. Pick impressive. Hawks, pick Hawks gold this week. Then. So you maybe I will. <laughs> you still have to pick well, yourself. I know. Oh, I know well, the damn rules. Guy. OK. All right. Don't worry about that. So going <laughs> into week six, uh, Steve is the only one with any losses and strikes. <laughs> and that's two. So Steve you have two strikes. Zero zero. Um, I'm going to go first, and unfortunately, I just realized this as as I said it, but I picked against Blue Chew as well, and I picked the multi ducks. Well, okay, yeah, multi ducks are I tough the out, multi- so I don't. I, it's not a bad pick. Yeah, I picked the multi ducks versus uh, Blue Chew Bulldogs. Okay, and I didn't realize that you picked against them last. We have eight games week. on Monday. Wow. Yeah, and a lot of I didn't realize uh, Hawks three triples or two triples and two or. Triples on both sides, and then two games at Hallandale. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All the reps in the U are going to be in Ruffin. working that night. All right, speaking of. A lot of hockey. This ready year. for my pick? Let's do it. Because Steve dared me. Okay. But I'm not going Hawks gold. No, no, sir. Hawks silver? <laughs> Hawks silver taking on the Barracudas in the rematch of rematches. Wow. Yeah. And I'm going Hawks silver, baby. Let's add some fuel to that. Fire, <laughs> yeah. I wanted. Well, you know what? Wow. I had a tough week this week, and I'm looking forward to a competitive game. Competitive game. I'll, I'll, I'll stoke the fire. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But when, it, when is something, it? dude. When Hawk is, Silver. Give it to me. When is that? Tuesday? Monday. That is Wednesday, October Wednesday. 30th. Oh, I was looking. Oh, sorry. We were both it is off. the day before Halloween. So I was, I was maybe we can, uh, you know, maybe I'll dress up for warm ups. Mischief night. That it's There's going to be a lot of mischief going on. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's going to be not. The, Hopefully no mischief. a tough game for sure. So. Yeah, they're ready, dude. They, yeah, they've been ready. They, oh, yeah? They Talk to them? I did, actually, Traitor. last night. Traitor. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've been looking. They've circled this on the calendar. For sure. 100%. Good. They've thrown, they've <laughs> thrown good. darts at the Hawks. <laughs> good. good. At the Hawk logo, they've been throwing darts mm. for the last, like, three weeks. How's that for safe pick? Steve? All right. What's up? They just said, suck it. Fulfilling Whoa. my obligation, too? Right. You're up, Stevie. Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, you wouldn't have picked us this week? No. So, <laughs> no. No, I would have. Yes, absolutely would have. But You're right uh, I have to, be, being that I have two strikes, I have to go to all safe right, pick. All right, all right, all right. I got to go to safe pick. So, I'm going to go uh, 24-7 over kill. You, you picked 24-7. I already. did? Yeah. When? You picked 24-7. No, I did. Oh, yeah, you did. See, he's trying to cheat. Now, I like dude. that. He got you, though. You got right, cheaters. One, two, three. Ooh, I missed one of yours then. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Invaders. Gotcha. All right, I'll figure this out. But yeah, twenty. so 24 7 over who? Chill. Nice. All right. 24 7 over chill. All right. So safe we got Multi Ducks, <laughs> Hawk Silver, and 24 7. I get risky when you guys have one. Well, the thing is, you know. You're getting safe now because you already have strikes. So what we're doing is preventing the strikes. You know, do we do we really think that uh, Chill is safe? Chill's a freaking good. Twenty four seven is just the best team in the league. If they show up, (laughs) if they show up, I agree. So Chill, Chill could bring it. They could. So it's not. I'll take that loss. Okay. We need to we need to figure out a way to close out the segment. Um. All right. Okay. Did. Did, 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 did. All right. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Very all right. anticlimactic. So, <laughs> so uh, next week we have our UHL threes. Um, Ew, obviously, uh, that's next week. Next Saturday. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. November's coming up wow. quick. That is quick. Yeah. The second. Quick. Quick. Absolutely. When November. Um, no. Oh, let's go. November. Love it. So what? <laughs> so what you'll notice if you head over to the actual main site, go to the events tab. There's a new threes.uhhockey.com. All the teams are uploaded there. Um, Beauty. You can still uh, register as a team or a free agent for upcoming dates, uh, which we will be uh, determining at a time sometime in the future, probably after the first one. So, um, uh, real quick, I, w- I do want to 
touch on that. Though. Commissioner's note? I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's commissioner's note. <laughs> so we're going to do a rusty threes. Um, we oh, probably yes. have, uh, what is it, five out of six booked pretty much, kind of. But we need to um, uh, set a date. So if you want to register for the threes, did I set that up yet? I think I did. So team registration um, mm-hmm. under threes.uhlhockey.com. Yeah. Go in there, register your team uh, for Rusty, and um, we'll send you some dates, and we're going to try to coordinate it so everyone's available. It's a Saturday. Try to keep it, keep people's, you know, in mind with their family and stuff, the things that they got going on on a right. Saturday. So I sent uh, the, the Rusty teams that did register um, like six different dates. So okay. they're always going to be a Saturday. It's going to start – um, I believe December 7th is the first Saturday, which is my birthday. So don't pick that one. Uh, uh-huh. You can pick that one. I don't really know. What else would you want? To, uh, I guess yeah, it makes sense. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so the 7th, 14th, 21st, and then we jumped into January and that was, um, uh, I think the 4th, 11th and 18th. Gotcha. So pick which one and, uh, you know, go from there, but we would definitely want to put together a rusty threes. Uh, tournament for the next one. Sweet. And then we're going to do a high-level gold one, but that's in the works. We're trying to yeah, work out some key, the third key one. details. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, because that would be actually like you'd want to come watch it. Yeah, true. For the good, you know, especially the gold. threes. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, that would be cool. Try great. to get some really good hockey players out there. Yeah. Are well, you yeah, saying Rusty is not going to be really good hockey players? No, good ho- Like, shut up. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. Nobody's going to come see you play, James. <laughs> well, if you do want to come watch the first one, uh, November 2nd at the Flyers Training Center. Yeah. First game's when? 9 o'clock. 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. The schedule's will be up there, there too. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could see it. Uh, it's pretty much all day long. So um, this, <laughs> the it starts at 9 a.m., and the last 8-15. round robin game is 5-10. Yeah. And then playoff starts at 6 p.m. And then we will have a champion crown by 9 p.m. Let's go. It's a long day. So yeah, 12 hours. You know, you get your first game in. 12 hours later, you can be hoisting the trophy. You know? Yeah. And we do have a trophy. And you win Flyers tickets. Flyers tickets. And, and, and hat. And a hat. From the North. Nice. Mm-hmm. Courtesy of the North. Sweet. Courtesy yeah. of the North. The rink looks cool. They really, it does. Yeah. Yeah. I like the bleachers in the corners. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. It's like. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And yeah. the locker rooms are nice there, too. Mm-hmm. When we got Dusty dressed in there, it was really nice. Yeah, Dusty uh, outfit change. Yeah. What do the winners get? Flyers tickets. Flyers tickets, uh, maximum of 10. So hopefully you don't have more than 10 people. on. Does anybody have more than 10? They won't, no. Beautiful. They're not supposed to. Yeah. So you guys will <laughs> get, you know, every player will get a ticket. Um, we'll, they'll get their names on the trophy. Mm-hmm. And they will get a hat, a uh, new era hat, really nice hat, custom, uh, courtesy of the North. Did we talk about the teams? Uh no, we did not. So well, I figure go we're gonna that. do. Um, well, I was gonna, I was gonna say we're doing a special pod next week. Oh, yeah, we can wait. For uh, that. We can preview all the teams. We can talk about the teams now. But no, whatever, dude. Save it. <laughs> Save it. For the night before. Yeah. No, where, where's, where's that pod gonna be? You do have it. So that pod is going to be at uh, Cutting Edge oh. at the Flyers Training Center. So oh, we're gonna yeah. set up there the night before. Um, Steve will be in costume. Yes. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to have a special on-location uh, pod next week. So we're doing two next week. Yeah. Halloween. Damn. Halloween pod. We'll do our regular, regularly scheduled programming. Halloween, which is... With awesome. costumes, and I guess. a little fun. It's yeah. a good um, good segue. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if that was next on your list, but... No, not yet. Damn. Not yet, brother. I want to I wanna know. I want to know. Heist. You want to know. know. Perform a heist at Cutting Edge after hours. Oh, yeah. I'd be late. Jeez. All right, don't forget to All Star Game this November, or I guess next month, Fall twenty twenty four All Star Game, November thirtieth. Uh, yeah, there, we're not going to get too deep into it, but just keep your eye out. We're going to do a special threes edition uh, draft draft style. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. Stay tuned here for more content around that because that's we usually use the best. I think that was like the main reason we did the pod so we could do All Star voting. Yeah, and that was our are, very first every episode. season. That was our very first episode. Was All Star. Yeah, All Star Game heavily reliant on inside the U. Just saying. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into our league updates. Presented by. Oh, yeah, I, I, you suck. Well, at least he, no, at least he didn't You're forget. Terrible. I pulled, he some, forgot. I, I pulled it up. <laughs> he forgot. No, no, he didn't. He didn't forget. All We're right. doing a little ping pong. League Presented updates. by. 
Presented by Spartan <laughs> Goaltending, Philadelphia and South Jersey's premier goaltending academy, offering on and off ice instruction and workouts, video review, and game tape breakdown. Whether you're a new goalie finding your way into the crease or a senior goalie looking to fine-tune your skills, Spartan Goaltending's mm. coaching staff is dedicated to building goalies' minds as well as bodies. So when you make that last goal line stand, you're ready. Bang. Check out Spartan Goaltending on Facebook and Instagram for on and off ice lesson times and pricing. Don't hesitate to take advantage of various discounts like first responders or military, uh, UHO members, or your tri goalie for free. Smart and goaltending. Love it. Didn't. Not one hiccup, dude. All ages. I went through that with not even a. Eh, just the beginning. Uh, yeah, that was kind of bad, yeah. actually. But well, I made okay. up for it. Yeah, you did. All right. Made up for it. Did he, though? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. looping back to Friday, October 18th. Uh, we had Hawks Bronze take on South Jersey Sugarbush. Jerry was a part of that. I caught the overtime period, so I can't really say too much about the game itself. Yeah, it was a uh, other was than a, uh, what was going on. It was what we call a great back and forth. <laughs> it <laughs> it was a great back and forth. Uh, it had Sa- to be. South Jersey Sugarbush took a three to two lead in the end of the second period. Uh, Brandon Toonstall tied it up. A little foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. Uh, three three in the third period. Uh, Sugar Bush went ahead with about five minutes left, and Cody Sherman tied it on the power play. Uh, first overtime, I kind of watched it. It was kind of putting me to sleep, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of skating. That a lot of it. skating, a lot of skating. It was three on three, and yeah. Penn Sauk, you know. But not much action, though. It wasn't... No. Uh, Brandon Toonstall comes up, winds up for a slap shot. Clapper. Slap shot right into the net. Yeah. First time he did the, tried to do the same thing. Kind of it got blocked, or somebody was behind. Somebody him or poked something, yeah. it right between yeah. his legs, yeah. so like right past. It didn't work <laughs> out, but uh, and hey, T unit shooter's gonna shoot. But that was a nice shot, right? It in. was a great shot. Yeah, well, I think nice, bar down was something. raging, dude. That was a nice little top four matchup. A lot bro. of penalties. Um, yeah, that was know. a big win for us. I think that is a big win. That is a big win because Sugar Bush is one of the top teams. Yep. Hawks bronze, uh, undefeated still. Yeah, what are you three and zero? Yeah, three and zero. Three and zero, big game. Hawks bronze, nice. That's a, a big comeback for Hawks bronze franchise. Yeah. yeah, sub franchise. I don't know what do you want to call it. Yes, yeah, the franchise. Uh, so then we had uh, expansion team jumping over to yeah, farm team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> jump over to Flyers training center. We have the Chuggernauts taking on the defending champions Warriors. Uh, Chuggernauts jump out to a two to nothing lead in the first period on Chris. Damn it. Giletto. Uh and William Saroy? Sarwa? So shout Saroy? out to the Gilettos, because Mike Fuck. Mike Gilletto. I just talked to him. I'm so. gonna say Sarwa, I think. That Saroy, I'm gonna say yeah, that's fine. So <laughs> All right. real quick, real quick. <laughs> shout out. Mike Gilletto got the assist to his brother. That Mike, is cool. Um his daughter is actually on Nico's team. Nice. We got another you uh There's you a lot know, of you a lot of you uh, player in, in the ball in the, hockey the when U- all their kids are playing, so Yes. Shout out to the Gilettos. Uh Going up 2-1 into the second period, Chuggernaut scored two. Brian Clegg and Kevin Listen score to make it 4-1. to one. Chris Gilletto scores to make it 5-1. to one. Dan Rhodes scores, and Brian Clegg gets the seal, the game ceiling goal, I guess, at the end. Chuggernauts. Just made that up. Uh, at the end, 6-2 Chugs. Nice. They are a juggernaut. Uh, nice. This game didn't quite go the way that we planned. Uh, Dad bots take on the Invaders. <laughs> Uh, one one after the first period. Um, I just want to say, Santor is the only goalie I score on, and yeah. I was very thankful that he was in that because I, I was able to score on him. Uh, second period, Jay Del Grosso scores to make Mark goal. Rienzi with the assist. Two, one, yeah, Mark, oh, yeah. Mark, <laughs> Mark playing the goal. goal. Both the goalies getting apples. <laughs> nice, dude. I didn't even notice the first. Let's go. One. Um, so uh, Invaders went up three to two. Uh, your brother scored to make it three to two, and then nice. three unanswered goals from the dead bods. Damn. Uh, we ended up get we had some penalties in the game and some ejections, and we ended up being very short mm. and some injuries. We had two injuries Jeez. and uh, and a defenseman kicked out. So we ended up having we were up three to two. We ended up having n- next to nobody. And sound like the 49ers. Man. I played the Ooh. night before. My legs died out. So yeah. Desi getting two goals at the end. I see. Yeah, yeah. He was he was a Des? nuisance out there. He is. He yeah. is a nuisance. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> so the Coopers played the Knights over at, back at Flyers Training Center. This was a great back and forth. Um. So beautiful, it. beautifully done. Well placed. Uh, two to one Coopers after the first. Uh, Knights score two in the second to go up three to two. Coopers tied up 
early in the third, and then um, they get three of the next five goals. Brett Gordon scores with five minutes left for the Koopas to go up six to five, and that is a six to five win for Koopas over the Knights. Double header, game, close game, double header for Chris. He went right over after ours. Chris Magnum. Oh, oh yeah. Duh. Oh, that's convenient for him. Uh, not really. It was different. Uh, place. Oh, he had to drive. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> All right. It's time? Yeah. It's time. All right, all right, all right. It's time for the Rusty Rundown. Here we go. First <laughs> game of the night was the Dusty Chops versus the Rusty Dad Bods. Chops desperately looking for that first win. And guess what? Not only did they get it, but in convincing manner coming in like the tropical storm we know they could be and blowing the Dad Bods out seven to one. Let's go. <laughs> They're Credit. back. They're back. Credit. They've uh, arrived. They've arrived. I yeah, they go. They've arrived. <laughs> um, yeah, first franchise win. So uh, credit Dylan Fagan and Nick Decker on their Hatties. Both two Hatties uh, with John out. Hess throwing first, uh, one in there as well. First win for Frankie James is Dusty Traps. Mm. That co- oh, that was his debut, I believe. That is his debut. 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 It gets so, us a convincing win. It was. Sh- it it so showed. Maybe there it is. There, there you it go, is. Frankie. All right. Second game was quite the back and forth between the Corn Stars versus your beloved Beavers. Corn Stars go up <laughs> by <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> go up by two early, which had the Beavers just playing catch up the whole game, trading off two goals at a time. Beavers were able to get within one with a desperation uh, goalie pull, but goalie Melanie Cullen and the dad bods were just too thick for the Beavers to chomp through, winning an exciting Six to five. Yeah. That Dang. looks like a close one, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of goals. Uh, this game, so are just going to shout out uh, Darren Borman and uh, Chris Cans for uh, two points each in that game. So yeah, that was a tough one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you two. Um, that's a, another top four matchup you were involved yeah. in. You're playing, so some, we, you're playing some good hockey this season, yes, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We went from first to fourth. But I picked it, them in Survivor, you know. Yeah, well, they were um, solid. Solid pick. So another first team. To fourth. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, the, the, we'll get into the standings later. Yeah, for the the top four or five teams in, mm-hmm. in Russia are tight. Uh, another team that was toy. looking for toy, like a toyga. <laughs> another team that was looking for their first win of the season, Moose Hockey, take on the South Jersey Raptors. This looked to be a close game with the Moose opening it up with Derek Watson goal. Uh, Tony uh, Parducci, I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I say it, mm-hmm. answers to tie it. But Andy Nisnik nets one. And uh, says uh, one minute of a tie game is long enough, ending the period two to one. So, no, okay. there you go. Okay. Did that make sense? Raptors, no, started... it didn't make sense, but yeah. I, I think I understood what you were saying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Raptors dropping a couple in a row now. Yeah, from there it was all Moose scoring two unanswered goals, uh, oh, giving sorry. the Raptors uh, their second consecutive loss four to one. Yeah, Raptors dropped a couple. Gotta so, look, gotta look to get back on the, the, uh, two back on the horse. Winless got wins. Nice. So there you go. So, uh, yeah, the Trops and uh, the Moose. Good job. No winless teams. Our fourth game of the night. That's good. Yeah. We're against two heavy hitters in the Rusty Division. Shell Shakas versus the Narwhals. Well, no action in the first, but our friend from the north, Steve Dennis, opens up the scoring <laughs> in the second. However, Darren Lillick uh, said, that's enough, brah, and scored <laughs> two straight goals Damn. in the third. To take over first place in the division with a 2-1 victory. Mm. Ah. They're not in first, but yeah. Yeah, they are. Shell Shockers are, aren't they? Yeah, he's in first. But Who's top that? three have eight points. Uh, well, Goal go. differential separating them out. Okay, there you go. And finally, last game of the Rusty Salky Marathon. Uh, the Cuddly Wolves take on the slightly <laughs> larger, more cuddly Yetis. Mm. Uh, this was a very lopsided scoring game, unfortunately. Yetis, uh, James Purdy opens up. The scoring, but only to be answered by four unanswered Wolves goals. Mike Kundratos finally nets one uh, for the Yetis, but Jeff Silver on the Wolves responded less than a minute after to close out the second period, five to two Wolves on top. So it's time to pack up and go home, right? If you're a Yetis fan. Wrong. Mm, Wrong. Wrong. (laughs) If you did that, I feel sorry, because the Yetis come back in the third to score four in a row to win the game six to five. Ooh. Wolves have dropped a couple of close ones, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wolves, um, wolves play strong until uh, it seems like the very end, and uh, for some reason they're just uh, having trouble closing games out. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Four losses with the uh, minus eight goal differentials. That's yeah. a lot of close games. Yeah. So yeah. 
that is your rusty rundown. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, no problem. Make the wolves Appreciate great that. again. Make the wolves great again. They're competitive, man. I know. Yeah. Still, still plenty it's, of time left in the season. Yeah, their record doesn't show how good they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're just uh, dropping a few tough ones. They're going to get it going. There's been yeah. a lot of, I mean, yeah. rusty in general, a lot of close games. It's cool, man. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. All right. So. Back we, to you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Back uh, to you. Uh, we're going to Pensacola on Monday, Socket? October 21st. Team 24-7 taking on Rain City Gold, a semifinal matchup from last season. Uh, not very close. Uh, first and second period, Team 24-7 go up 8 nothing. Uh, Robert Baskow for Rain City scores uh, to make probably it 8-1. Probably with the Bevins jersey on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, Cole Zucker and James Lowry score to make it 10-1. Uh, game ends 10-2, to uh, 24-7, so... They're, they're I feel here. like not getting mercy ruled is a win. Yes. 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 <laughs> it was so, very close. Though. So take it, take good it for me. Rain City. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so then we have, uh, over at, still at Flyers Training Center, Multi Ducks taking on Militia. Two great teams. Uh, very good teams. 1-1 uh, after one. Yeah. Goals from... Uh, Militia and I don't know. How, I'm not even going to attempt that name. I was honestly laughing in my head, waiting for you to attempt to, no. to announce. Tim it, Van scores from multi tug. Yeah, uh, the guy scores again. So I, yeah. I'm just going to leave it there. I don't want to say it. I don't know how to say it. So it sounds like it's a uh, looks like a typo, but I'm not sure. Um, what I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of goals in the second period. Yeah, eight goals in the second period. Wow. Uh, five for uh, multi ducks and three for militia. Mm. It's 6-4 going into the third. Pretty close. Uh, Colin Davis scores to make it 7-4. Uh, Harry Laval scores to make it 7-5. And then um, Brett puts it out of reach with about two, minute, two minutes left uh, for an 8-5 win for the multi-ducks. Didn't the multi-ducks start off 0-2? Yes. Mm-hmm. So they they found it. Yes, they did. They're now, they're now 500. That's yes. why I picked them. They're very, they're That's good. why I picked them. Mm-hmm. I, I, feel, I feel the mojo. Is it is in? Mm-hmm. There, with the, we beat them, but it was a tough game. We, tough game. It was that wasn't to the very end that we pulled ahead. Um, they were actually winning most, and of the it games. was a game that we usually lose. Let's put it that way. Correct. Yes. Uh, so frogs took on the rockets. Game of the week. Game of the week. Uh, frogs go up three nothing in the first period. Uh, four Ribbit. nothing early in the second. What a it's, leap! It's pretty much all frogs. Seven to one after the second period. Eight to one at the end. John Schallenheimer scores the eighth goal. Uh, Frogs beat the Rockets eight to one. Check that out on YouTube. YouTube. Dropping this weekend. Yeah, after the Rockets uh, were on a bit of a run there, I was a bit surprised. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. I think the Rockets are going to be one of those teams you don't know who's showing up. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's tough. Um, so Hawks goal took on NBO. Uh, NBO scores the first goal of the game. Yes. Oh no, Hawks goal. Just eh. kidding. Three uh, one after. <laughs> <laughs> After for the first period, got him. Larry scored uh, two goals in that Hail period. Liar. Is that true? Yes. Low yes. blocker. Um, the first one was actually kind of clunky. I one of the defensemen grabbed the grabbed the puck out front of the net, and I poke checked it from him. The goalie wasn't ready. Went right in the net. Nice. There you go. Uh, the second one was low blocker. Nice. Third one was a little tap in. Oh, you had the hat trick. Yes, I did. Ooh. Yeah, he couldn't let me have it. Like no, every time I do one. something, he's, Larry comes in the next wow. game and is like, "Oh, well, I did it too." Yes, you're, you're so exactly. good at hockey, Larry. He's so good. Why are you I so just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm simply just maintaining my position. Simply the, the best. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Better than uh, all the rest. Something one v one me, Jerry. Dude, you'd be done. You'd be toast. <laughs> so, we'll do, talk we'll about, we'll talk do about a, poke checks. We'll do a sports marathon. We'll do yes. Oof. We'll do. Uh, we'll give you basketball first, hockey, pickleball. And then pool. See what happens. That'd be kind of even. Yeah. I think you'd t- definitely take me in pool. I know, again. Yeah. It's, it's, the thing it's, is, the table's too low. I would just end up punching it. <laughs> <laughs> you would definitely punch that table. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> something to note here in the second period, Nick DeMarco took another penalty for hooking. <laughs> uh, he's going to be, he's climbing up the leaderboards. Of penalties. I mean, you know, you might want to shout out too. Uh, uh, we had, we had a pretty short bench. Uh, Nick was all over the ice. You'll notice he's at the bottom though, as far as points go. Oh, he's got yeah, yeah, yeah. all these hooks, man. It's you like got, you got to move your feet. Nicky. Jeez, that 11. Looks like every- Holy move your, move your feet, buddy. Cow, Keep those dude. feet moving. Seven skaters, eleven goals scored. You get zero points. Yeah, dude. and he even jumped up to play center. 
in the oh. third period to switch from me because he was. I was like, you might as well. You're you're floating all over the ice and uh, brutal, dude. Couldn't uh, couldn't find the back of the net. He's like, I saw Larry get a hat trick. I'm yes, like, he I'm jumped get up. Mine, dude. Yep. <laughs> he is a uh, he he's, he played center his whole life. He's a good good center for sure. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, well maybe maybe we'll I would see like that next to see game. That, honestly, we'll see that next game. Maybe, yeah, maybe. All right. So jumping over to I didn't miss a game, right? Now we're good. Uh, Tuesday night. Hawks take on the Blue Chew Bulldogs. Uh, this one wasn't close. This one was a uh, mercy rule. Um, this was your pick. In the second period, uh, Hawks win 12-2. to two. Did you yeah. even play the third, or you got everything we did in not, the We second? did not play the third period, no. Uh, so, jumping over, uh, South Jersey Barracuda is playing uh, Night's Watch Silver. Uh, yeah, that is close game. a surprise. I, I mean, I don't know if it's a surprise, but it's pretty, it's close. You know, I'm, I'm very, uh, you know... Larry's pick. That Barracuda's team is good. I'm ready. <laughs> He's ready. Dude. <laughs> one one after one. Uh, Night's Watch take a three two lead, but short lived. End of the second. Um, or actually, this all happened pretty much in the in the first half of the second period. End up being three three. Everyone tightened up. Julian Russo scores on a power play in the beginning of the uh, third period uh, to go up four three, and then goals from Nick Urban and Rick Music. Uh, make it five to four, and then Otav. they they held out. Yeah, fifteen minutes left in the third period, they held out for the rest of the game. That was your way too early pick, the Barracudas. Is that what you said? I hope not. Did I? Better not, dude. I Who remember. picked the Hawks, dude. I picked Night's Watch. So. All right, all right. Oh yeah, you guys. Both, <laughs> did you guys both pick Hawks? Paisanos versus uh, <laughs> Paisanos. Campbell Kids. Uh, Paisanos. Uh, I don't know if they they were going to have a little streak of. L's for yeah, a took a couple there. losses. Yeah, um, so they came out flying. Uh, Mario Corsado channeled his inner Nico. Yeah, uh, scores, brothers, cousins, brothers, I think. brothers. Yeah, um, so he scores a hat trick in the first period. Pisano's up five to one. Uh, they score four straight after that to go up nine to one. Uh, wasn't very close. Ten three. Uh, Pisano's win. We see uh, goals from you know Michael Restagno. Mm-hmm. Bobby Strauss playing for Campbell Kids. Another uh, Chris Corsado. Chris. A lot of Corsaro scoring. Um, Love it. Yeah. 10 3. And then this one was a very tight game. Uh, Knights looking to get back on in the win column after losing last week. Uh, Knights go up 2 0 uh, in the first period. One goal from Stephen Linville in the second. No goals in the third period. We have a 2 to 1 win for the Knights over the Otters. So that's a big win because the Otters were in first place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the top six teams here all have six points, but um, Otters, Knights, and Thundercats have only played four games. Yeah. So uh, so last night we had a uh, another 10 nothing mercy rule, which is not very common lately. Or no, it was, yeah, 10 nothing into the third, though. So we were about five minutes into the third. Yeah. Uh, 10 nothing win for uh, South Jersey Sugarbush. <clears throat> Jess Wright with two goals and an assist. Maddie Chernoff, uh, one goal, two assists. Sarah Stewart. Stewart with one goal, two assists. Maybe giveaway using, winner. Maybe using that new stick that, that she nice. got for yeah. the giveaway. Uh, Moonshine and Glassboro Goop ended in the first period, so that is yet to be determined. We're working that out now. Uh, so Tom Fuller. Lot, Jerry. I didn't do I anything. Blame you. I left before that. Uh, Dad bots <laughs> took on JMCC Auto. Uh, all JMCC Auto, pretty much. It was a 11-1 to win. You, that was your scorekeeping. That was game. my debut Looks scorekeeping. Okay. Looks all right. Uh, I mean, I think I did everything right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nick Tambor- Tamburo with four goals. Tamburo. 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 Yes. So that is, it is Friday, October 25th at 7 p.m. right now. Uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. <laughs> I play at 7.25. You do, so you got to get going. Oh, I'm jealous, Yeah, I got to get going soon. And I'm right after you. Are you? Mm-hmm. Hawks bronzies? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh nice. Maybe I'll stick, stick around and watch a little and bit. And Saki. Can I play? Saki, Saki. Ooh, Saki. Yeah. We actually do need players. I think we're running 3D tonight. Perfect. Nice. Um, so I think we're doing that, too. We're like, we have two, yeah, 3D. and guys got injuries? Long. Injuries, people out. Man. Brian Auger on vacation. <laughs> Doing whatever he's doing up there. I feel like he's always on vacation, too. For as much crap you give me. No, he's not. Yes, he is. 100%. No. Yeah, he is. We don't do. Yeah. No, I think he's doing an anniversary. We don't thing, leisure. So we'll let him go. We don't leisure. Like Shut that. up. Yes, you do. Yeah, too much Too much work. Today. Your leisuring is cleaning up chicken poop. I Great. don't do that. My wife does that. Oh, that's fair. Great back and forth. Leaves, though. Leaves, Leaves are really and bad. And acorns. Acorns bad. 
Uh, did you? I didn't show you my push blower. No. Fucking, it's huge, dude. It's like the ones that they want to ban. This tall, this huge, dude. Didn't they want to ban it them? It shoots an acorn 25, 30 feet. Let's go. Get out of here, acorn. Yeah. You know. <laughs> We don't want you here. Exactly. Anyway, we, don't want you, we don't want your If anybody lives in the woods, they know that this is leaf season and you go out there for four hours every Saturday for mm-hmm. six weeks. Yeah, it's rough, dude. It's tough. It's rough. Yeah, tough life. The worst part is when you do it and then you come out the next morning and it looks like it does now and you're like, and you're, you want to lose your mind. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what do you expect? And look at the trees. There's still a million I, I leaves know. on these trees. Dude. I know. So there's more to come. There's a lot more to come. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. We'll um we'll let you know when the movie rates are sold. And, yeah. Uh, you guys can uh <laughs> you know buy tickets. Yes. Advance tickets to see the. It's a nice yeah. workout. It is a good workout. Uh, what? Just carrying the blower? That blower is heavy as fuck, and you're pushing it. Mm. Oh, all yeah. uphills and downhills. And then you got the backpack blower on. Oh wow, the plot thickens. Like. <laughs> this is good, man. <laughs> I'm all my, all my, uh, my woods leaf guys comment, the please evil, comment, the back me up, acorn. back me up, <laughs> the plot uh, <laughs> thickens, well this is a- acorn season, the ah. past, <laughs> it continues, the, the past couple of years, acorn season, but wait, there's more, <laughs> the past couple of years, no. the acorns didn't fall, okay. only the little, sometimes the little small ones, oh. but now it's the full blown acorns, and there's oh. no squirrels dude. There's no squirrels. Fucking squirrels help me out, dude. Yeah, where are you? It's a squirrel paradise out here, dude. There's Leia uh, chasing them all away. Ooh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, she eats the acorns, too, which are toxic, so we've been dealing with that. Oh, so that's fun. Yeah. (laughs) The plot thing? Like, it's just so... so, Dude, trash cans? I can the fill up three of those trash cans and acorns. That's a lot of layers to this story. Yeah. Yeah. Can you burn them? Can you burn them? They're actually very good to burn, yeah. Okay, so they go. Good kindling. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I yeah, mean, I, I learned a lot. Nuts, dude. If anything else, I learned a lot about it. Write a book, dude. Write a book. You should write On a leaves? book. Write a kid's yeah. book, dude. There is a method to it. You, you know, you should name it. Leave it to me. Get it? Leave Leave it to me. No? Well, it doesn't quite. Leaf. Leaves? <laughs> Leaf it to me. Leaf it to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's funny. I like it. Oh, okay. should, did you preview our games for tonight? Can we make you that the did? podcast <laughs> title? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leaf, <laughs> leave it to me? Leave, leave it, it to, to me. me. Yeah, love it. Love it. Are you organic? Yes. How about a quick rusty preview? Real quick, though. No, no. Before we get into that, I warned everybody that this was going to be a weird one. It's always a weird one. It's uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. What is that? I made it wider. That's what she said. Oh, looks, thank you. Looks thank you. Now, yeah, it does, right? look, it does look better. Yes, thank okay. you. The the image is still a little bit. It uh, doesn't fit. What, the website? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Makes sense. Okay, well, so. it's not you. I think it's... Uh, yeah. I can, okay. I can change the All right, so a uh, rusty preview for Sunday, because this is boring me. Um... We More got acorns? the first the acorn talk. The first game, everything's at Penn talking again. So both sides, which yeah. I I hate the phantom side. Yeah, it's tough. It is very difficult to play. Like you think a puck is out of the zone, and then they don't blow the whistle, and it's still like it's weird. Larry, you're rolling your eyes because your head's up because you're a good hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're not, your head is when you're bare, looking dude. down, I and all you see is these I curling know. things yeah, all over the place. There's just and lines I'm, all over. And, and I'm being I'm being facetious. I can see how that would be. It's yeah. very troublesome. Yeah. And if you're colorblind, and when the ice goes like gets chopped up, so you can't see it very well. I'm literally like I remember like looking down, looking for the blue line. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, where the tough. hell that's, is it? That's what I was saying. It's tough. All right, so as a ref, luckily. Uh, beavers are on the flyer side. Nice. Uh, we start off playing the tropics. Um, all righty. Yeah. Then Back we around. Got, then, yeah, we are. Then on the phantom side, sorry guys, uh, moose versus the narwhals. Then shell shakas versus the raptors. Yetis versus uh, corn stars. Oh, yeah. And game, uh, game. the final game, late game, 10 15. Which is unusual for Rusty. The West Coast time. Yeah, West Coast time. <laughs> uh, Rusty Dad Bods versus the Rusty Wolves. Yes. So, so we yeah. have to squeeze it all in Pensac and uh, we'll be back to normal scheduling. Where he's some of them uh, next week. Back okay. to our regularly scheduled programming. Yep, pretty much. All right, Rusty preview, baby. Yep, Thank that was it. All right. Ready? Do, do, do Rusty. <laughs> Rudy. Um, real quick, um, I do believe we have to pick a game of the week, and I hate to be a homer here. I just hate to do it. I really do. I really do. Yeah. But I scrolled through. I scrolled down. Don't hit the I, Hawks. I, oh, I, it's such a good. good I saw one, one yeah. game that really stuck stood out to me. And uh, if you go back and listen to episode one, you would understand why. See, go up though. I wish they we weren't on the North Rank though. Eh, it's tough, but go go up. Though. I right. think they do a good job. Regardless. I l- I really like. Oh, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. That one. 
Koopas <laughs> versus otters, I think, will be a very good game. Okay. I can see that. There's no, like, there's no, like, uh, there's no t- I mean, they're both just very storylines. There's no storyline <laughs> for this, dude. Yeah, I get it, but I'm just saying. Come on, the mischief night, man. Wait, Thundercat. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Thundercats Knights? Ooh, that's, Story- that's, a good that's another good game. That's, that's a great all game. Right, maybe I was a little biased when I screwed yeah, up. Yeah, th- I think game, Thundercats yeah. Knights is the ah, game. Dude. I know, I'm game. sorry, but Hulk's I think. Hawks uh, And here's the other thing. I don't think. It should what? be Hawks Cooters, but in the interest of not being biased, fair. we fine. Might and I don't, fine. but we're really doing a disservice, dude. I agree to the. Union. I agree. I don't, I don't it's going to be a good game. You know, it's going to be a good that, game. and yeah. I don't. But I don't think what's going to happen in the game should be um, videoed. I'm just saying. I think some things are going to go down. No, what are you? They're saying, not. Dude? <laughs> That's the best part. Yeah. Uh, I like, I do like Thundercats Knights. I'll, Thundercats I'll keep it Knights honest. Up. I'll yeah. keep it honest here. Um, and it's at Flyers Training Center. Yeah. It's on the nice. It's on the nice new rink. I Let's do with Thundercast Knights. We got to focus on the game. You know yeah, what? we don't yeah, want I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. this is a pro- This is a prove it game. But yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Big time and, for both but, teams. Right. But I think yeah, because no excuses after this one. Yes. But I think um, the we stars align clearly in the first the, star, the stars align for this for the Knights Thundercats Phantoms Rink. Flyers, it's beautiful. It's a dude. You're so anti Hawks. It makes me. Sick, I'm not anti Hawks. I just think that is the better game. Honestly, what do you oh, mean? Please. They're the top two seeds in silver, dude. Mm. Please, oh, top mm. two seeds in silver. And what's the um, is um Thundercats one three, one three seed. It's true. It's true. But there wasn't any. Whatever, there wasn't right. any drama from the first game. Well, we don't know that. that we, we don't. don't know that we don't. On. We don't. You're right. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. Swords versus swords. I mean, come on. Knights? Oh, yeah. Thundercats? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll, we'll report back, dude, next week. Okay. Yeah, I guess I don't have to be <laughs> Thundercats. Knights! I love it. All right. Um. Uh. So let's get into our what are we doing? voting results. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, Jerry's, Jerry's good. Jerry's reaction is always good. Yes! I got to pull um, these up so I can remember what they look like. Uh-huh. It's not good. You're not going to be. You're not going to be pleased. No? No. Nah. Um, I, I will say that there was one uh, runaway winner here, yep. which which actually surprised me, and it wasn't exactly <laughs> what I thought it was going to be. I think I think it's exactly <laughs> that first one. Yeah, yeah. So um, we had four options here: the uh, the eighties aerobics workout costume, uh, the adult blue baby jumpsuit, the adult sailor costume, and my favorite, the the Donald Duck ju- Donald Duck jumpsuit. I said we get that one anyway. Yeah. I'm down with that, <laughs> um, but I, I uh, there was a community poll up. Uh, you could have went over there and voted, or you could have voted on Instagram. Um, the uh, so in last place, oh, I was going to do a drum roll. All right, go. What was the last place? Uh, Do- I, I, Donald Duck was in last place, but only a small handful of votes there. Um, next two, uh, second and third, were very even. Uh, the baby, uh, the baby, wait, jump, the baby jumpsuit. Right, wait, wait. So now it's between <laughs> the sailor costume, yes. And the aerobics workout. Yeah, and then the, the this one uh, was close in results. Uh, the sailor costume was close in results to the baby jumpsuit. So the winner, oh, okay. the winner, the runaway, the runaway winner was the aerobics workout costume. I might, so, have, I might have vetoed the sailor costume just because of the neck thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a bit too much, dude. It was too much. But yeah. this, this you get, it is a bit much. You get a cool. <laughs> you get it's a, too much, dude. The mullet's gonna be great. Dude. You get a mullet. You the get mullet a headband, sense, yeah. and you get a fanny Can pack. Can you wear the mullet um, and high socks at warmups? Yeah. Can you put your helmet on over the mullet. Mischief night. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. I would definitely awesome. do that. Dude. That would be awesome, dude. Yeah. Wait, do you Get do you have distracted. white do you have white sneakers? No. White sneaks? And oh, nobody sees sneakers. my feet on here. I know, but it's still fun. Yeah, yeah, you do. The socks. I like the socks. You got it. We got to get high socks. So we got to get all the things. Okay, so you're a men's small, right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Jerry I can't wait to go to the Halloween store. I'm gonna have to do dude. some fucking push-ups for a week. Yeah, you're <laughs> this thing, dude. Yeah, that is tight, dude. That is. <laughs> that's t- like fucking embarrassing. It is. That is it tight. is toy. Oh man. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Thank you, you community. You made the right choice, I believe. Yeah. Um, the sailor would have been funny too. But yeah, the aerobics. It's gonna be. It's gonna be great. Halloween, yeah. baby. Jesus. Next yeah. week. So what are we doing? Maybe I don't know. Halloween. We got to go to the store maybe after this and go pick out two costumes real quick for us. Going to be make them cool, though. So yeah. I pick yours, you pick mine, or Steve picks ours? No, we can just pick our own because we didn't lose. This loser lost. I thought we decided something else. Yeah, because he was the host, so he, yeah. he had an unfair advantage. So it was supposed to be like yeah. 
You, I had you, to do no. I had to do all his. the work. I had to do all the work I preparing the show. What? I pick Jerry's, and <clears throat> Larry picks uh, himself. <laughs> look at, I pick. Look at no. Jerry realizing he's defeated that he anyway. So. <laughs> Larry picks his own. All right, Larry, you can pick your own. I'm gonna pick the coolest one. Yeah. Since you won, you get to pick your own. Yes, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm Since punching, one, you get punching this table in joy. Yeah, <laughs> now we're fair. And then now you're picking mine. Yeah, yeah Steve picks yours. You're gonna make me do the sailor with the little. Thing. Oh yes, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. No, we had some good <laughs> options. We had some good options. <laughs> yes, no, that would That's be a it. major plot twist. It's, it's <laughs> Jerry it. ends up being the loser after all. Yeah, I know. I think in, in the, the end, I think that's the, the only way it should be done. That is fair. I know. Yeah. That is I fair. <laughs> <that one. laughs> What were you? You were, you were Buzz last. Thing. You were Buzz. Was buzz that yeah. was so I, funny, dude. I wanted that to be like sorry. Wolverine or something. Like, right, I got you. something cool. I got cool. you. Sam. All right, so we'll, dude, the Buzz we'll, is so, so funny, dude. <laughs> you just did this to yourself, dude. I know I shouldn't. I, I mean, unless too I much. stumbled upon it in the store, yeah, I would have not thought, thought of that. that. No, and that's the first thing I thought of. Is like if you're gonna punish me, you might as well do the the punish one him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do Donald Duck. Yeah. Okay. Island Wooder. <laughs> it's actually really I want to be Donald Duck, dude. It's actually, very refreshing. You get Donald, Donald Duck, Duck for yourself. It's good. It's good. Yeah, um, I can see that. I don't know. I'm going to pick out a cool one. Donald Duck's not cool. Please, come on. It is. You're right. It is. Maybe yeah. I will. Yeah. Maybe I will. Great. <laughs> All right. Good. Great. Great. All right. Uh, don't forget to uh, check out that uh, community poll on the on different topics that you guys want to hear. Uh, we'd love to hear from you all on that. Um, uh, let's get over to uh, Larry's look at here now presented by our friends over at Beer League Warriors Apparel. Uh, we are proud to partner with Beer League Warriors Apparel, specialists in the art of inspiring, helping you get up early, work out hard, and get, st- get stuff done. I had my uh, BLW shirt on Ooh, in the sauna today. I got right here. Early this morning. So, oh, you in the inspired sauna? me. Yes, I did a sauna before sunrise. It was fantastic. You went to the gym? I did go to the gym this morning. I oh. set 13 alarms and I said, I have to get up. I go to the gym. What time Let's did go. you go? Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, six fifteen. Did you actually work yeah. out though? Yes, I did. Oh, so you saw yeah, early did. morning sauna before you work out? No, I did oh, work, work out and, and then sauna, sauna after. Nice but day. yeah, yeah, it's it's the weird time of year where the sun's like not up by, until like seven thirty. Yes, like what the hell is that? Ease. Yeah, right. and then it'll start getting dark at fucking four. o'clock. Well, the the, the clocks go back next week. Ugh, stop yeah, it! Yeah, so Fall you're gonna have to get out. You're stop gonna have to get out and do those leaves early. Lighting oh. lamps Dude, it's with bottle rockets. So fucking depressing. Since 2024, that's you. That's basically you. Yeah. All right, so BLW <laughs> Apparel combines high-quality fabric with humorous designs that adult ho- adult hockey players uh, connect with. So go ahead and be the sharpest guy at the gym. Check them out at BeerLeagueWarriors.com and add Beer League Warriors Apparel on Instagram. Uh, let them know we sent you. Um, if you're interested in joining BLW, uh, the North Hockey, uh, go check out last week's episode. Uh, we, we kind of unveiled that. If you're interested in joining Spartan Goaltending, Island Water, um, and you partners in general, head over to the link in our bio for more. Uh, make sure to follow at Inside the U, like, like and subscribe and comment here on our YouTube channel. Check out the new golf recap now on YouTube. Good video. Great video. Uh, don't forget that the UHL team shop is also available um, along with UHL Customs. So if you're looking for custom apparel, jumpsuits maybe, uh, jerseys, bags, socks. Duck costume. Yeah. I like yeah. this shirt. I love this shirt, actually. It's like very comfortable. It is. I, I like that. Uh, that I know material. you don't like this material, but. That's okay. He's, he's, not, he's not very athletic, so it's like weird to him, but. True, true. Athletes like to, um, like these. You know, we got to go uh, pickleball. We, Black versus white. Pickle. We'll both wear our BLW shirts. Ooh. Get Rob over there. Love it. Should we just do a day in the park and bring Rob? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just watch, watch out for the acorns. Uh, it's UHLHockey.shop. Uh, go check out all the, all the goodies over there. Um. Don't forget, you charities by Comcast. Uh, this, the link is still available with the link in our bio. Um, five hours uh, of each of your tickets. ticket purchased. Each, tickets purchased ticket, $5 goes back to you charities and supporting yep. our mission, and you get discounted tickets to the game. They kind of are in right now, but I have uh, high hopes that they're going to rebound for this season, yeah. personally. I mean, listen, hockey's hockey's hockey live. It's the best, even if the NHL team's not good. Oh, it's, it's that, still oh, so dude, much it, fun to watch. It really is going to watch a live so, game. It's yes. crazy. It's it's definitely the best professional uh, sport to watch live. Glad you say that. Glad you say that. Hundred percent. It's awesome. Yeah, it really is. So NHL game and for a good cause because you charities you support you charities love it. Speaking of, how about a quick let the Greek speak? Yeah. So you charities is uh, partnering with the Wish Kit Project for this year's Dusty Claws for a Cause campaign. The Wish Kit Project is going to create different wish list kits for children going through cancer treatments to choose from before their extended hospital stay. 
We will work with them to make it as easy as possible for everyone to just click and buy items for these beautiful children. The more kits we can fulfill, the more children we can support. So when we go live, please try and get your team, friends, and family together so we can complete as many kits as possible. And together, we can ensure that through the power of creativity and care, these children can hold on to the magic of childhood they should remember. Love it. So great cause. Um, we'll be launching soon. Still working on those uh, kits, but um, you know we'll make it very easily uh, accessible once once it's time. Can't wait for that. Yeah. I'm excited. Me too. Yeah. Um, I know there's no commissioner's notes, so what I will say is the updated gallery is available at the link in our bio. Great pictures, as always. Um, including the, uh, the, uh, the golf outing. Go check that out. There you go. Um, it'll be uh, soon updated with our threes tournament. That'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. Do you know if everyone, do you know if everyone has jerseys or not? Maybe not, right? For threes? Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Sweet. Well, <laughs> Why wouldn't they? uh, don't forget we are still taking on, uh, interest, uh, inquiries for ref and scorekeeping. Maybe you can join Jerry. Uh, woo woo. <laughs> it was fun. We do need more. We so we have a lot of refs. Uh, yeah. We need way more scorekeepers than than refs. Check out the link in our bio. So let us know you're interested. Yeah, sign up. Sweet. Um, shout out as always to our commenters from last week. What they have to say? What they have to say this week? Um, Christian Davidson, Jerry, I'm a Mets fan going back to the mid '80s. Let's go. Sorry to hear Man. that. Yeah, now uh, it's a little upsetting, but hey, they made yeah. a good run. He also commented on the uh, the Raptors' recent struggles. He said that we can't look past the Moose this week, but you know he was right. Moose ended. Moose was desperate. Yeah, yeah. Moose were desperate, mm. right? They were. were. Four, I think. Yeah. They needed that win. Yeah. Uh, Frankie said, "My main man, Demarco." There he is. Demarco's all right. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> he also said it's got to be the first choice. So a little foreshadowing from Frankie there. He called it. He was. He called it. He, he absolutely it. knocked it out of the park. Um, uh, Ziggy. Yeah, my boy Ziggy. My did you, did you respond to him? Here? I did respond. Yeah, did that was respond. awesome. Go check out his comment on on the channel. Yeah. Um, God bless. Yeah, <clears throat> some good feedback on the witch kitty. Mm-hmm. Sweet, awesome. Can't wait for that. Um, <laughs> Shoddy Shores. Steve checks. She checks to see his arms are big after the UK. Dude, that was comment. I didn't even. I, like this, dude. <laughs> yeah, but you still checked. It, checked your arm out. I was looking at my shirt. No, you weren't. All There's right. no chance. I you're didn't like at your shirt. flex. It doesn't matter. You're still looking at your. <laughs> you arm. didn't happen to look at that, that time. Was, that was a great call out. So he time stamped the free two five fifteen. Yeah. Go, let us know what you think. Whatever, dude. It yeah, was yeah. funny. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah, yeah. Funny comment. And then Sean said, can the rusty rusty captain for what? Oh, for the all-star game is he talking about? Yeah, because the, the uh, top okay. two are doing the drafting. Oh, I can't wait for the all-star game. Yeah, all-star game will be fun. be fun. It's going to be sick. It's always sick, but this one's... Can this I be on the ballot? Fun. For what? <laughs> Play? No, you're on the ballot for making <laughs> copies. Shut up. Come on, dude. One Four. of these days, we're going to get on the ballot. Come on, man. Yeah, one of these days when we, don't, we have an events team that is handling everything, then yes, we can... We can I don't play. do well, I won't play, but you dude. guys can play. <laughs> I just stand there the whole time, dude. You just but look, Larry's. Top but you need to be able to make copies if if need be. Larry's top three. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're on, talk three. to me. You're on retainer in Hawks Gold. Talk to me. Okay, he's probably top three in. Uh, no, silver. no, I'm not. I'm not. Trust me, I checked. He's <laughs> down there, but he's close. Not putting up too many points in Hawks Silver. I'm playing defense. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Jerry, where defense are you at? Defensive season, Hawks bronze. Um, no, I'm not good. <laughs> I'm where the, are you, dude? I'm at the. Uh, <laughs> where are you, there dude? we go. Yeah. Oh no. Where are you, dude? Nothing. I have zero points. Oh come on! You got to get on the board. Then. Yeah, yeah come on, Jerry. Come I on. have. Uh, yeah, I haven't. How's he looking on the beeves, though, dude? He's, been, he's, he's be been tearing he's it up, up and there rusty. On the beeves, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, he's cooking. Number two. He's cooking. Yeah. See, you could be on. You could be on the ballot. Uh, no. Oh, for the, yeah, rusties. Um, Let's go. Yeah. No, we got to work. You know, Jerry loves his events, dude. I'm focused. I do one thing, so let me do it. <laughs> okay. You do more than one thing. Come on, bro. Let mm. us cook then, dude. No, you're working. God, we've had how many outstar games? Well, we get the draft teams. That, yeah. That's cool. So that's you, a little consolation. You get, you, get to, you get to coach. Oh, shit. Yeah, I wouldn't pick myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there goes your argument. <laughs> what if I played for somebody else's team, dude? You just sabotage. No, it, nobody's going to pick can't you. Wait. I can't I'm wait. I'm not picking you. Uh, no offense. we got to figure out this draft process. It's simple. No, it's not simple. Yeah, I, I laid it out. It's never simple. Yeah. We, oh, yeah the draft you, you order. <laughs> the draft order is a different story. Order is a different. We'll draft we'll order. Do, we'll do a little competition for that. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's us three and DeMarco, so. Yeah. We can Maybe we'll do our park thing. I, yeah, I was going to say I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> just, little, just, little, why don't you guys do it? Just give me, you guys are just playing for a second, so let me 
get the first pick, and then you guys can, you know, play for a second. What sport at the park would be Jerry? At? Nothing. Fuck. You think football, but still no. Soccer. Oh, football? Not soccer either. Football. One v one. You would not win in football. You're are not, there's no <laughs> way you're fast or agile at all. Again, it's physically impossible. your three strides equals to my one. It doesn't matter. What if yes, I'm? What if I'm doing three the amount three times the amount of strides and you're one? So you're, you're so slow. So you're exerting more effort, which means you're going to get tired. Which means my giraffe. Um, I think it'd be a good tired. matchup. Um, you are going to burn way more out, so much quicker. No. Yeah. I'll we'll line up right now. Yeah, I think this is a good match. Two forties. What? Let's do forty race. Yeah. So that's over like oh forty time. God, that dude. escalated quickly. We're, we're doing track and field. Yeah. Get on the line right now. Well, that's, a, that's the combine, right? Larry's, they do the forty. Larry's the QB, dude. I'm steady QB. It's gonna be sick. There's please. no way. There's yeah, so so way. I could just run a simple slant and just be uh, six feet in front of you. I'll throw a dime instantly. Too. I have a six foot wingspan. Boom. I have long arms. You should have a longer than six foot wings, man. I don't know. Whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever, man. I got, I'm just I'm kidding. I'm putting my right receiver gloves on. Nice and sticky. You got you got gloves? <laughs> you really got gloves? Yeah. You would. Why? You would have You don't play football. Gloves. Why would you I have? I football growing up. Those gloves still fit you? No. Well, then. Wh- I have another pair. So we need to pick a draft <laughs> order? Yeah. We used to play Can football. we get like a draft board made? Like we have to, we have to do something. Just put it like right here and pick on the on the yeah. on the or pod. We can do it on the screen and then I can pu- I can put it onto the okay, podcast. Okay, okay, screen. fine. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, we have to do something. And it's gonna we'll, be so fun. We'll figure out. We'll figure out times. So you know what? Right. Suggestions. Uh, I'm hungry. Comment. Yeah. Comment below. All right, Steve's hungry. So Steve's hungry. Steve's hungry. So if you have any feedback for the U crew, <laughs> drop a comment on YouTube. Please continue sharing the show. Uh, we appreciate all your help so far. Something as small as sharing this episode, uh, one of the reels, one of the articles, anything contributes to growing the UHL as a whole. So with that being said. Over the shoulder. I'm out. Give it to me. Peace. See ya. Bye.